Hello, okay, friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids. From what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids in my collection are blooming, etc. So, if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. Today we're looking at another mini Phalaenopsis orchid in my collection. This one does not have an ID, so I usually just call it dark red, mini dark red. Uh, this one has never bloomed under my care except this time, so it's been probably well over two years since it finished its initial bloom from the store. So let's go back in time. Around April, end of April 2018, it was showing signs of growing new leaf and the roots were growing pretty okay. Lots of area roots directly growing away from the light source. And then um, around June 2018, the leaf had become quite, quite a bit larger, the new leaf, newest leaf, and then area roots continue to grow. But it's not until end of 2018, so end of December 2018, that it started to shoot out its first spike ever under my care. So I've, I obviously was very, very, very happy, very excited about this one. Because honestly, I couldn't quite remember what the flower looked like um, before, from before. And that's how long it had been for this mini orchid um, to... to to grow and eventually, you know, give me a flower spike. Anyway, this orchid started blooming with its third flower around mid-March 2019, which is quite interesting because I think I only have one or two other orchids. I think my Stortiana and my Philadelphia did that, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the third one that does that. You know, starts blooming from the second or third buds. In terms of care, this orchid receives water in summertime. Over here is usually seven days or so. And every time I give it water, I always make sure that it's uh, soaked pretty well. And the reason I do that is because the original... I repotted this orchid after it finished blooming. This is you know two, two and a half years ago. And the media I was trying to use to experiment at the time was 60% lava rock and 40% sphagnum moss. So it is a mixture of that. And this orchid was part of that batch of experiment in a clay pot, obviously. So it worked pretty okay. I mean, the orchid grew further with its roots and new leaf and now it's flowering. So it's totally fine. Um, but the only thing that I think is interesting is that as it continued to grow more and more area roots, it got to a point where the area roots were really too long and it's taking up a lot of horizontal space. At some point, I was being really careful when I was when I moved around this orchid or orchids around it, but it got to a point where I think it's just too much work. So I decided to bent <laughs> these aerial roots and, and put them into uh, the the plastic container, the outer cup. So it's kind of hanging out, it's not inside the media, but it's outside, but then in between the clay pot and the transparent pot, as you can see here. And so these bending caused some of the velum to, to snap, to break, but not to worry because it, during the initial two, three days, I really make sure that there is no moist, additional moisture. So um, the snapped, where it snaps, or the, the wound, if you, if you prefer to call it that, have time, would have time to heal and scab over. And then the roots actually continue to grow. You're right, I carry on with my regular watering routine, fertilization routine. The roots, some, some of the roots actually just continue to grow. Some of them even, you know, got to the bottom of the cup and then grew up from the other side of the container. So the what I'm trying to tell you or share with you based on this orchid's uh, behavior is that even if you sometimes accidentally uh, break or damage your aerial roots, 
uh, not necessarily a complete snap or complete um, uh, you know a complete cut if it's just some a little bit of a tear wear and tear here on your on your roots it's actually okay as long as the the, the there is velament right I believe it still has the capability to absorb water and 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 transport the water through that very skinny root inside the velament. So after I did that, it saved me so much space. And when I'm soaking this orchid in water or water with a fertilizer in it, I actually feel much better because even these aerial roots that are already bent, uh, bent underneath the cup or whatever or underneath the, the clay pot I know it's being soaked in solution that I'm providing so in a way these areas continue to serve as you know roots of this orchid to to continue to take water intake water or intake fertilize fertilizer now this or orchid even though total it um, produced it gave me six buds but only had two two um, flower opened um, the first one, I don't know why it blasted, but then after the first flower, there were a few, three more buds that blasted. That was because I was away. If you look at some other video, you'd know, um, in mid February, 2019, I was away for 10 days, I think. And during that time that I was gone, the, the, the heater was on, but there was one day that was extremely hot. So the heater obviously would not be initiated but what the, the what the orchids needed at the time was actually air conditioning so cooler air right but that was not turned on so i think it was just too hot that you know that caused these butt blast um, after the first flower that's okay because as soon as i came back I, I noticed that they were you know blasted it just you know i didn't think it was that big of a surprise because if I, I I went back and look at the weather forecast it, it made total sense it's just part of orchid growing you're good you're bound to have some butt blasts here and there it's just all part of the experience but you really have to understand why because if it's something that's your mistake then you you have to look into reason so that you can improve so that next time you're not making the same mistake but if it's you know um, reasons or root causes outside of your control then you know what it's just part of that growing experience that that you just have to be okay with <laughs> okay back to this orchid i i also only give this orchid quarter strength fertilizer 25 percent strength fertilizer and every time once a month i will for sure give it just just pure water and how i do this is that i would add water quickly from the top of the cup uh, in, into the clay pot and then once the water is is just about to go over the edge of the clay pot I will stop and then the water inside the container will gradually go in go down and through the drainage hole at the bottom um, but then would be collected by this transparent plastic cup outside and then that's how I would just let it soak and 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 take as much water as it needs and usually within half an hour you'll see that the top media is completely saturated as well and that's when i start to um, dump out the water at the bottom of the plastic cup overall this orchid really surprised me this year because i really honestly had no idea this orchid was going to bloom until i saw the flower spike because it had already been two years um, and I couldn't remember what it looked like but now I know um, it's that dark red red wine color with a little bit of um, white skirt around it which is quite charming overall I'm pretty pleased with this mini orchid and I think this orchid during its bud development stage is rather sensitive uh, because not all my other orchids had butt blasts during the, that one hot day or after that one hot day. So this one is probably just a little bit more sensitive compared to those. So next time around, I may just have to be extra careful and hopefully when next time it is about to bloom, I will not have to go away for too long. My question for you is, do you also have the same orchid? And has this orchid been easy to care for or is it just as sensitive as I described? Let me know.
This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!